Hi YouTube, my name's Drew and you're watching Drawing with Drew. Today we're going to be addressing a question I get a lot, which software works with the UG1910B? And to answer this question, let's refer to the website. For our list of software that have been tested by our engineer and or approved by a number of our UG users, please click here. So let's look at exactly which programs work on the UG1910B. We've got 3D Max, Adobe Photoshop, Affinity Designer, AutoCAD, Autodesk Maya, Autodesk Sketchbook, Blender, Clip Paint Studio, Corel Painter, GIMP 2.6, Illustrator, Inkscape, Krita, Lightroom, Manga Studio 5, Mischief, Mudbox, OneNote, Paint Tool Sci, Net, Photoshop CC, Photoshop CS4, and later, Sketchbook, TurboCAD, 2D, 3D, Tux Paint, and ZBrush. So does that mean that each one of those programs is going to work flawlessly on your UG? Not necessarily. A lot of it comes down to your computer. Think of your UG monitor as just an external monitor. On its own, it does nothing. It has to be plugged into your computer. So whatever programs that your computer can handle should be able to run on the UG 1910B. What I would advise you to do, let's say for example, you're looking into Manga Studio 5, a program that I always use. You're gonna want to go to the specifications of that program and figure out what are the minimum requirements. And then hopefully your, your computer's gonna be higher than the minimum in order for it to run fluidly. Your computer might just not have enough RAM, it might just be too slow. The computer I use to run mine is a 2011 MacBook Pro. It's a quad core i7 and it's two gigahertz. And this, my computer is pretty much perfect for each program I'm using. If I do have stabilization on in Man Manga Studio, it's gonna be really slow and delayed, so I can't have it up to full specs. Um, but so if you're using a computer and you're finding that it's really delayed and things like that, it's not really working out that way, try it on another computer. It's not hard to just download the, uh, the little driver there from their website and literally plug and play. So test it out on a computer that's newer, more up to date, and that might just solve your problem. Well, thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And if you wanna stay tuned for more of my UG drawing tips, you wanna see some UG drawing uh, drawings, maybe see some how to's or challenge videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for all my crazy wacky art videos. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.